Hi, I'm Pam Cullen from Three Mile Pond Girl Creates, and today we're going to be making this card. And I got the inspiration for this card out of the July to December mini catalog, this card right here, and I thought it was so beautiful with all the silver and white and that beautiful designer series paper. And then this uh, velvet ribbon in the mint macaron I just thought gave it such a nice pop of color and just such a pretty card so and not to mention that all of these dies we're going to be using today the um, encircled in warmth is the stamp set and we're going to be using the dies <clears throat> excuse me the dies that go along with that and um, it's just such a beautiful and versatile set so this stamp set is for Christmas and the holidays but also in the annual catalog on page 70 of the annual catalog there's also the encircled in friendship stamp set which is general it's it's really nice it's like with heartfelt thanks you're the best because of you you know you're in my thoughts each day is a little brighter so this one is like general sentiments that you could use so if you get the die set and buy one or the other of these as a bundle then you have um, a lot of versatility there because it because look at the look at the shape of these and we're going to cut these out in silver foil and it's going to be just it, I feel like it's just a really gorgeous card so that speaking of that silver foil that's also in the mini catalog and it comes in three um, three shades it's the brushed finish the matte finish and the mirrored foil finish and so today we're going to be using that mirrored foil finish right there and we're going to be using from the stamps that we're going to be using this let it snow stamp and for the inside we're going to be using this wishing you love joy and happiness this coming year so those are the products that we're going to be using and we're using um just about every die out of this um out of this set except for one the only one we're not using is this other one little centerpiece here but other than that we're using all the dyes in the silver and the basic white so um let me show you that and today we're actually going to bring in i don't usually do it but i did a test and it doesn't shake the table too badly or the camera so hopefully it will be okay but i want to, you to see the machine and i also wanted you to see how um, beautifully it cuts all of these all of these dies out for this card. So, okay, so the product, the, the pieces that we're gonna need for this card is a piece of um, smoky slate cardstock that is eight and three quarters by seven and three quarters, and it's scored at three and seven eighths. And then we have our inside piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by three and a half and that will fit right in there. And then we have our designer series. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the designer series paper. So we're using this designer series paper that comes from the Peaceful Cabin Bundle, and it is such gorgeous paper. So let me show you just some of the patterns in this paper. They're just so beautiful. And here's the checked one. I love checks. And then this, and then you flip them, flip it over, and here's the other side. Now look at these beautiful things here. I think I just showed you that one. So this one, I mean, look at these gorgeous papers. This, and this, this is the one we're going to be using today. And it's just so pretty, and it just complements with those silver foils so great, and with the with the peaceful cabin die set which i in one of my earlier videos i made a card with i made a card with using that stamp and die set and that just makes a beautiful card so these are our pieces we need one piece of the designer series paper that's four and three quarters by three and a half and so that's going to go on the bottom of our front of our card and then we have two pieces that are one and three quarters by three and a half, and those are gonna go here on our card. And then, of course, we're using that beautiful um, ribbon, the soft velvet ribbon in mint macaron. And I wish you could feel this. It's just so pretty and so nice for a Christmas card. It's beautiful. So we're gonna be using that. 
And um, I think that's all of our pieces. The only ink color that we're going to be using today is Misty Moonlight. And we'll use that for both the, for the outside and the inside sentiment. And there's the inside of our card with that wishing you love and happiness in the coming year on there. So that's our card. That's our pieces. And so let's get, um, let's get started. I think the first thing that we'll do is um, I'm going to bring the, the cut and emboss machine in and we're going to go ahead and cut all of the pieces, um, cut the pieces for this front accent piece of the card. So what we're, what we're going to do for that is we're going to be using basic white and the for, a piece of the foil. So you just need a couple scrap pieces of white and the foil piece. And um, don't worry, I'll have all of these measurements on my blog at, when, the videos, when the video goes live. So, okay, so here it comes. I'm going to bring in our cut and emboss machine. And... We're going to go ahead, and so here are the plates that you're going to use, and the great part is, is that this gives you all of your instructions on here for what you need to make your sandwich for your die cutting. So this piece, you're going to use your number two, your number one plate, your number two, one of the number three clear plates, then we're going to put in we're gonna start, well, let's start with our foil piece. So for our foil piece, if you can see in the card, we have an underneath foil piece here, and then this beautiful, gorgeous foil piece here. So we're gonna go ahead and take the dies that we need to cut that, and we're gonna set these right in here on the foil, like so. And then we're gonna put the, our other clear plate on top of that and we're going to go ahead and run this through. Hope it's not shaking too much. Okay. Look how beautifully those cut. See that? So we've got our bottom base piece of the foil, and then we have this beautiful piece here with all of those, with all of that design. Now some of these, see these will pop right out, and we'll go ahead and pop those as we go along. But for now, we'll go ahead and keep going, and we'll use, I'm going to just brush this off. Sorry about that, just stick into there. Okay, so then we're gonna bring this back through, put this on, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our, do our white pieces on here. So here's our piece of basic white cardstock, and again, it's just a piece of scrap. So this piece here does not cut out of the paper. It will put this image on your paper, but it won't die cut it. So you need also need this piece here to go around this and it will fit it will fit right in here. There we go. So that piece fits inside that piece like so and and um, that will emboss it and cut it at the same time and then we just need that other little small piece for our center for the let it snow sentiment there is going to be on this one. So again, we're going to just go ahead and tuck that in there and run this through. Whoops. So here we go. Here's our small piece for the center. And then here is that beautiful white piece and so see that 
large piece cut around the edge of it and then the inside cut out that. Now the ex this you're going to have this extra piece of white that we're not going to be using on this card but you could use it for for something else. So, that's all of the um cutting and, and embossing we need to do so we can go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm just going to make sure we're in the picture here. All right, so now some of these pieces we have to do a little fixing too. So I have this little, you can use any kind of a pokey tool that you have and you just go ahead and poke those extra pieces and see they'll, they'll pop right out of there. Oh, this foil is so, look at that. It is just so gorgeous in that foil. There, I think we got them. Do this really fast. If I probably ran it back through a second time, they some of these would have popped out a little bit, but I wanted to try to avoid shaking the camera as much as possible. But I'm always talking about that cut and emboss machine and I've not showed you what kind of magic it can do. So I thought I would, since this, this card is mostly all die cutting today, I thought it would be nice to bring it in and show you. But these, see what I mean about these dies? They are so gorgeous and intricate. You know, it's like you could do so many beautiful things with these. Almost done. We're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. So this is the perfect day to be here with you in my craft room because it's stormy outside. Fortunately, it's just rain today, but it will not be long before we're snowed in. So been fairly lucky with the weather so far. Just rain, but we know it's coming. When we live in Maine, we know it's coming. All right, so there, we've got all those little pieces out of there. So you can kind of see how this is gonna layer up now. Oh, we got a few in here. This won't take long, it's just a little. So you can, you know, if you have a any kind of pointy pokey tool, the take your pick tool is a great thing to use for this. And full confession here, I can't find mine, so I have one coming on my next order. It's, it's here somewhere, but I don't know where. Okay, so now we have all our little pieces poked out of there. So this is basically what we're gonna do to put our card together. So let's set these aside for a minute, bring our card back in so you can see it. And we're just gonna go ahead and we'll do some stamping. We'll stamp that, let it snow on the front with our Misty Moonlight ink. And we'll um, stamp our inside sentiment. And then we will be all done with our stamping. So we're just gonna put that right center. There we go. And then we just need to bring in our, whoops, go. Our, this inside piece. Whoops, that looks like I might have a little ink on my fingers there, so we'll flip that over. Bring in that nice wishing you love, joy, and happiness stamp. And again, I'm gonna stamp this some somewhere close to the top so that if you wanna write another sentiment, you'll have plenty of room to do that. All right, there we go. All right, so that's all we need to do for stamping. And now it's time to put this card together. So while we've got this right here, let's just go ahead 
put our inside in, tuck that away. Just gonna take some of our liquid glue. side to side, top and bottom, as straight as you can. There we go. All right, inside done. So now we can go ahead and glue these outside pieces on. See, there's that heat to cover up that beautiful checked paper. I'm going to have to do something with that very soon. So this piece is going to go on the bottom and I'm just going to leave a little bit of a little bit of that paper showing on the bottom there and on the sides. So then I just want to place these first to make sure we kind of have the same distance between them and the other piece we're, the other part we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tuck that we're going to need to tuck that ribbon we're going to you see here we're going to tuck that ribbon right underneath that top piece of paper there so we need to put that down before we actually place that piece so then I'm going to just go ahead and take this one put glue on that Center that top, you know, between those two and make sure your sides are lined up. There we go. All right, then we're going to just take a look. Okay, we're, oh, there's my ribbon. We're going to take a piece of ribbon. Oh, I wish you guys could feel this ribbon. So beautiful. So then I just kind of measured it out a little bit. It's going to be this piece is going to be covered up by our center piece. So, on my oh, come on, use two hands, it will probably work better. There we go. On this card, I use liquid glue to glue the ribbon down, and you can see you can see the ribbon. I mean, you can see the glue on there. And I don't like that. So on this, so I tested it with something else. And so on this one, we're going to go ahead and use our Taran tape. And I tried it on a little piece of paper and this worked and it didn't show, it doesn't show through the ribbon. So, because this ribbon's so beautiful, you don't want to. So this Taran tape is like two-sided two tape. So we're just going to go ahead could have got that a little straighter, but I still think it'll be okay. So we're gonna just put that down, and then we're gonna take that tool. Let's get the get that started. There it comes, and then you're just gonna peel this back piece off. <coughs> All right, so there's Frank the dog, and I told you that eventually one of these videos he would make an appearance. There he is. I tried to keep him, oh my goodness, I tried to keep him in here with me, but he wasn't having it today, so. All right. So then we're just going to put some glue on this. I feel like I don't have that exactly straight. But let's see how this goes. So let's go ahead and put this, whoops, let's tuck that down under there. Put glue right there. Put that down. go. All right, now let's hold this up for a minute. Get one thing stuck at a time. Okay. 
Whoops, it still didn't stick under there. Let's do this. Just gonna come glue. Oops, sorry, my head and the camera there. Let's take it, stick it to this side. All right, so I think we got it this time. So then we're just gonna put this, stick this down. There we go. Okay. All right. So, excuse me just a minute. Muffle him a little. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put these, put our big center piece on here. So we're gonna go ahead for this one, I just glued around, put a little bit of a glue around the edge of this white one because it's so detailed, it's really difficult to Let's set this out of the way for a minute so we don't have glue all over everything. So then I kind of kiddied this with opposite of those points. You see these points, I'm just kind of putting it in between those points. Now with foil, it's a little bit, as you can see here, it's a little bit slippery. So you have to hold it and let that glue get a good and as you can see there's some glue on the center of this but once this goes on you're not going to see that so don't worry about that okay so now he's going to chew his bone in here so i apologize hopefully he's not being too distracted <laughs> he usually is asleep during this so i'm not sure why he's not today but anyway thank you for your patience <laughs> Um, okay, so we've got those two layers and see it's already starting to look beautiful already except for that glue around the edges and we're going to cover that up right now. So this one's great because it has a nice big inside piece there. So then we're going to just put this on. I'm trying, I think I'm trying to find some kind of a center point on this, but really it's so detailed. I don't think it really matters. All right, so we've got three of our layers. And so then we're just gonna put this, um, lastly, we're just gonna put this Let It Snow in the middle. Get that centered. Just gotta hold, see what I'm, I mean, you just have to hold that a little bit longer and give that glue a chance to set up there. Isn't this pretty? I just thought this was so gorgeous when I saw it. All right, so that is our focal piece, really, for the front of this card. So I... I'm going, we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. So I see one little piece that's not poked out there. And, um, but instead of using dimensionals, I'm going to use our adhesive sheets, which, and I might not be calling that by the right name. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so terrible at getting the names right if I don't write them down. I will have the proper name for them with the instructions on my blog, but they come, these are just like a big flat dimensional and it's two-sided, It's you take the sticky off, but because this is such a big, such a large piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on instead of using a whole bunch of dimensionals and um, we're gonna get the same effect with that. So see, you just peel the backing off, stick this in the center, Peel this backing off 
and then we're going to go ahead and center this on our card. I'm trying to see where I put, okay, so I just put it down here like a little below the, all right, here we go. And see, it fits perfectly because it's not going over, it's not going over your edges, so it will fit in your envelope and it's not hanging over, so that's, that's perfect, it fits perfectly on there. So the last thing we need to do for this card is we need to put on our, our I, put, I couldn't do that as all one piece, so I made a separate bow to stick on here. And because I'm terrible at tying bows, and this one, if you see, it's not, it's one-sided ribbon. And so it took me a few tries to get it so that the, that the bow was coming out properly and the right sides were showing. And I so I um, did that off camera to just save us all having to watch that. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm gonna take a couple, because this is a really thick, um, thick bow, I'm gonna take a couple of glue dots, just press it on there, it'll come off. Okay, so we've got a couple of glue dots on there. We're just going to go ahead and set this top of that ribbon like that. And um, there we go. There's our card. I think I'm going to just trim this tail a little bit more. Whoops. Try to get a little more angle on that. There we go. There. So there's our card. I think it's a very, very pretty card. And I, like I said, it's from the catalog, so I can't give credit for who created it because I'm not, I don't know that, but um, it's very, very clever, very beautiful. And again, I'll have all of the measurements, the products I used on um, on my blog so you can create your own card if you'd like to uh, hope you like this and if you're watching this video for the first time I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button below the video and um, if you hit the bell, little bell you'll get a notification every time I post a new video if you don't have a stamping up demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator and if you'd like to talk about that, I would love to hear from you. And um, if you would like to join my team, that would be great as well. I We have a great team and we do lots of fun things. We do blog hops and card swaps and um, just all kinds of things to support each other as team members. And it's great to be part of the Stampin' Up! family. And I would love to have you be part of my team. So if you, again, if you want to have more information about that, I'd love to chat with you. So Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.